Welcome back to Yummy Jumpy Jump. This is Rob. Um, today we've been invited to Royal China in the Fulham branch to try out some of their Chinese food. Um, Kitty here has a new blog. Yep, my new blog's called TheGreedyPanda.com. Um, it's going to feature food, uh, so don't forget to follow me on my Insta and my Twitter. All the links are down below. Um, Royal China are also normally famous for their din uh, dim sum dishes, but tonight we're going to try out some of their dinner menus. As well as their dinner, men dinner menu, um, they also have uh, off menu dishes as well. So all you need to do is come in, ask the staff what's fresh today, and they'll happily tell you um, what's available and they'll just stir rice and they are for you. Now we're trying to order something that you don't usually get from your ch uh, Chinese takeaway, just so that you know what to order next time you come here. So today we've ordered for our starter the jellyfish with the uh, cucumber. It might sound a bit weird, but <laughs> let's give it a taste test first. Mm. It's nice. It's served in like this sour and spicy type sauce. Mm. It's a bit like a very um, watery sriracha kind of sauce. Yeah. But it's still definitely got a nice kick to it. Yep. From the kind of texture and the kind of sauciness, I think there's some chili oil in it. Now the texture itself, the jellyfish itself, is actually a little bit crunchy and a bit bouncy as well. <laughs> and you get these kind of strands of, um, all these kind of um, uh, shredded uh, kind of cucumbers, which kind of give it that uh, refreshing touch and taste. Really nice. It's definitely something that you should try when you come to a Chinese restaurant, uh, somewhere like Royal China. It's definitely something that we would recommend you having, um, even though it might sound a little bit daunting having jellyfish. <laughs> but trust us on this. Jellyfish is some of the most delicious delicacy that you can get in a Chinese restaurant. So yeah. do it. <laughs> so next up, we're going to try uh, one of the special dishes of the day, which is uh, pan-fried scallops with an EXO sauce. Yep. Now, um, the EXO sauce made with dried seafood, so um, like scallops and prawns, um, and it's cooked and it's a little bit spicy as well. Yeah, let's see how it tastes like. Mm. Um, I think the scallops have been cooked like really, really well, but these ones um, still kept their moistness and it's. Um, very nice and like bouncy. In terms of the flavour, it's actually quite smoky because they kind of pan fried it with some butter and then they garnished it all and then they kind of topped it over with some of the XO sauce that Kitty was talking about. Um, with uh, the scallop, they have some really thinly sliced um, spring onions and carrot, which kind of gives you that almost like um, you're having like noodle, vegetable noodles uh, with this piece of like really meaty scallop. So I think the combination itself is. Not bad, it's quite nice. Okay, so we've been tucking into our Peking duck now. Robert's already prepared one. Um, so how you do this is you've got your pancakes, you've got your duck, um, some spring onion, uh, cucumber and hoisin sauce. Now with Peking duck, it's very similar to the aromatic duck that you may have had from um, other Chinese restaurants. But Peking duck is all about the crispy skin um, and the, uh, the the moist meat as well. So it's shredded, uh, no, sorry, it's sliced pieces of um, the duck skin and the duck meat itself. How is it? It's really good. Um, what I like about eating these kind of dishes is, is that you can really customise it to how you want it. Can, if you want a little bit of sauce, put a little bit of sauce. If you want a bit more onion meat, just put some more onions in there. Now these are also served with some corn crackers as well. So if you want to be very adventurous, break some corn crackers into your pancake and then eat it together. So it's a very fun dish. This is all about the crispy skin. Um, even though this one is not that crispy, but <laughs> still very nice. The meat is still um, quite moist as well, and it's just a really fun dish to have. So once you can customize these kind of food, you can really customize it. Now instead of having a Peking duck wrap, I'm having a Peking duck taco. Now I've loaded this up with some hoisin sauce, duck, the spring onions, cucumber, with the prawn crackers as well, so it looks amazing and big, so let's give it a try. <laughs> mm. This is exactly what it's all about. Mix and match, customise it to how you want it. That prawn crackers really gave the dish a different level of tastiness and texture as well so really good try it it's a must 
All right, so we're on to our main course. Now, this is exactly how a Chinese meal is supposed to be. We have fish, we have some veg, and we have some stir fries as well. So what are we having first, Kate? So what we're going to have first is the uh, steamed sea bass. Now, this is one of today's special dishes. Um, the sea bass itself uh, is steamed on top of a lotus leaf. The lotus leaf actually gives quite a nice fragrant um, flavour to the meat itself. Mm, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. You can definitely taste that the hint of lotus uh, leaf flavour. Mm. Um, now this fish is actually steamed as a whole, so you have head on, bones, the full lot basically. I think that the flavour itself is not uh, really um, bold, it's actually quite a mild dish, which you know how a steamed fish is supposed to be because you want to taste the fish flavour, right? Yeah. Um, I would say that the fish itself is only a little bit overcooked. All right, next one we're going to have the, um, it's called Pei Pa Dao Fu, um, which is, what's, it, what's it called in English? The braised mints uh, bean curd. Now these are basically just minced up or mashed up tofu that's been uh, mixed with some uh, fish meat and then it's basically shaped into little meatballs, deep fried and then it's stir fried with a mixture of different vegetables. You have the monstrous in there, some black fungus, uh, there's some bean sprouts, some carrots as well and then it's basically stir fried with some oyster sauce. So let's give it a try. try. Mm. Mm. This dish is one of Kitty's favourites, so what do you think? I think um, for these kind of um, tofus, it's really good. Um, the good thing about tofu is that it's quite a versatile type of ingredient, and you can have it in lots of different ways. For example, this um, type of minced um, bean curd itself. Um, and I think mix that with the seafood and also stir fried in that oyster sauce really adds the flavour to tofu. Definitely one for you to try if you want to have something um, uh, like with tofu. We're going to end off with some of these um, pak choys. Um, now these are quite young ones, so they're quite tender. Mm -hmm. And we've got it. We've ordered it in like a bit of like a like a broth. Yeah. A very simple broth, and it's got uh, other vegetables like the goji berries, the carrots, the onions in there as well. Mm. There's also ginger in this as well. Mm. I think the bok choy is always cooked just right because it's still got a bit of the bite to it. Mm -hmm. um, the worst that I like is when bok choy has been cooked for too long and then it gets all soggy and mushy. I mean the broth and the, the goji berries and the, uh, the ginger almost can, kind of give you like a, a medicinal <laughs> kind of feel to it. It's just so soothing and it's just a great combination. With, yeah. and it's a great pair to um, these other Chinese foods that we're having yeah. and with the rice as well. Really nice, simple flavour. Alright, so we finished our meal here at uh, Royal China, the Fulham branch. Um, now, our overall experience is actually quite pleasant. Uh, we had a really wonderful meal with different varieties of meat, vegetables, dishes as well. Um, I think everything was cooked uh, quite authentically. It's not like your usual kind of Chinese um, local takeaway or restaurant. Um, so overall, uh, we're going to give it a three and a half yams. They do have a, uh, a full dim sum menu as well. Uh, so you have your dim sum, your different types of uh, Xiao Mai and Xiao Long Bao and all those kind of things that you have in Chinatown, you can get it here as well. Yeah. Um, every day they have different special as well. Oh, yeah. um, I would say that the fish and the scallops that we had today was a little bit on the pricey side, but it's well worth trying. So next time you do come and have this special, make sure you ask for the price. <laughs> so we hope you like this video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to yummyjubby.com. As I say before, Kitty also have a new blog. Yep, uh, so my new blog is called thegreedypanda.com. Don't forget to check that out. Uh, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to give me a take. Bye. <laughs> oh, look at this. this is so cool. It's a really creamy lamb. Rice is just underneath it. I also got some of the. Uh, the